the fossil fuel infrastructure in this country. What does it mean? It means more fossil fuels holding us all hostage, blocking renewable energy development, and taking fossil fuels through some of the major aquifers in this country, damaging indigenous water, damaging sovereignty and indigenous lands. And it's being funded by your money. It's being funded by money in banks. If you take a look at some of the maps here, you can see all of these fossil fuel infrastructure projects going across the country. And we're here today to say no to that. And we're here today to take a stand against some of the funders in Maine that are contributing massive amounts of money. TD Bank here in Maine is contributing 10% of the money, $365 million. And TD Bank is going towards the Dakota Access Pipeline. And we're going to make a ruckus today. Chloe's going to tell us what we're going to be up to. We are going to be marching silently down to the TD Bank branch on Union Street. We, we will have four people go in with our banners. And then Sasha, who's raising her hand, she will um, make sure that everyone is lined up in two rows, and then those two rows are going to walk into the bank like a pipeline, so that the customers, customers, and everyone who goes into the bank has to walk through the pipeline. And we'll tell people why we're there. We're going to read a statement about the pipeline. We're going to read a statement to the employees, and we're going to read a statement to the customers, telling everyone that they have to divest from DAPL and divest from TD Bank. Call the police and the security, okay? Dakota, access shall not pass. Dakota, access shall not pass. Dakota, access shall not pass. This pipeline is a pipeline project that in its proposed entirety would stretch 1,172 miles and would carry over 500 million gallons of daily crude oil. The pipeline would traverse sacred lands of Standing Rock Sioux, as well as cross under the Missouri River, the tribe's main source of drinking water. A moment arose to stop DAPL and protect indigenous rights as thousands of people joined the Aseti Sakawan resistance camp in Cannonball, North Dakota, where unarmed water protectors were confronted with police violence and brutality. The Army Corps of Engineers recently denied a permit to drill under the Missouri River, which temporarily halted construction. The oil companies behind this project have lots of money, but not enough to build the Dakota Access Pipeline on their own. This pipeline costs $3.8 billion. A $2.5 billion finance loan was granted to subsidize the pipeline on August 2nd. Coordinated by a family of banks, including $365 million from TD Securities. Half of the loan was dispersed immediately. The other half requires proper permits for dispersal. Although the Army Corps of Engineers have recently denied a key permit to the pipeline, the oil company Energy Transfer Partners have refused to stop construction. I hear the voice of my great-granddaughter say, defund Apple now. People gonna rise like the water, gonna calm this crisis down. If you have money in this bank, you have investment in this project. Money put into TD Bank funds any industry of corporations this bank backs including the energy transfer partners. Your dollars could be spent on pipeline material or private security or pepper spray to continue ravaging these lands and upholding a legacy of genocide and habitat destruction for profit. So divest, divest now. Tell people why you divest. You want where your personal financial capital is invested to reflect your values and your needs for clean water and for re-envisioning community so acquiring more oil doesn't override respect for human rights, public health, and sacred spaces. We, our children, and our family downstream all deserve this.